see you, man. It's good to see you too. Good it's been, been a while. It's yeah. been a while. What first? Just how do you feel about the Super Bowl run? How much fun was it for you? Knowing you got the chance to see this all from the beginning back in the preseason. It was cool. You know, like, I'm not pulling for any specific team, but spending as much time around you and, and everyone in the, the Chiefs organization, seeing everything that goes into it, and Brett Beach and Andy Reid and how hard they work, just like every other organization, but how long they've been at it, especially Andy, um, to see it pay off is, is really cool. And the people at the Chiefs organization have been so good to me, and they're they're, you know, they're great to be around, and the fans are so. It, it reminds me. I've said it before. It reminds me of like LSU or the SEC. You know, it, it's it's not like an NFL organization typically is in terms of the fans and the people around the the organization. They they love it like a like a college team, and it, it was cool to see everyone have that success and and enjoy it. Well, you got to see it from the beginning, going back to the preseason, yeah. and you get that postseason run all the way up until the Super Bowl, and this is kind of like you know the start of your postseason, I guess, all the way up to the Super Bowl, which is the draft for you. When you look at this draft, the 337 players that are here at the Combine, for the, the needs that you think that the Chiefs have going into next season, what they've got to address this offseason, and where the strengths in this draft are, where do you feel like the Chiefs can get better, and how do you marry those two things? Well, wide receiver is the strongest position in my in my opinion. Quarterback is is pretty good, but I think you guys are pretty set there. Uh, wide receiver, you have to go back a decade to find six receivers that were taken in the first round. I've got seven right now in my top 32. 20 receivers with grades in the first three rounds, which would be over 20 years, I think, in terms of breaking that kind of record. So the depth of this receiver class, and I think it's all about like seven on seven. The game is changing to the perimeter and space and all those sorts of things. Um, but these receivers are so good. And there's not a Julio Jones, there might not be a Calvin Johnson, but there are so many guys that can come in, whether it's you know T. Higgins at 6'4", 220 coming out of Clemson. Uh, Justin Jefferson, who's unbelievable catching the ball and contested catches. Um, J Jerry Judy's the best route runner I've ever evaluated in 20 years. I mean, he's like a Marvin Harrison type as we sit here in, in Indianapolis. Um, C.D. Lamb is great contested catches and is an absolute beast after the catch. So there are different receivers in terms of what they bring to the table, uh, but there are a lot of them.